This tutorial will cover the basic operation of SP Column by going over Example 5 from the SP Column Manual, Capacity of an Irregular Section. The problem formulation is to compute the horizontal moment capacity, MX, of the unsymmetrical beam cross-section shown below, using 3 KSI concrete and 60 KSI reinforcing steel. To begin, we'll prepare the input. Go to the Input menu and choose General Information. We'll label this project Example 5. The column will be Max and the engineer will be SP for structure point. For the design code, we're going to choose ACI 318-14. For the units, we're going to use English. For the run option, we're going to use investigation. For the run axis, we're going to use biaxial. And for consider slenderness, we're going to choose no. Choose OK. All right, next go back to the input menu and choose material properties. And the only thing we're going to change here is the concrete strength. We're going to use 3 KSI and we're going to leave 60 KSI for the reinforcing steel. Choose OK. All right, go back to the input menu and go to section irregular and SP column will load the SP section module. All right, the first thing we want to do is set up the drawing area. So we're going to go over here and click the arrow to open up the drawing area menu. All right, and for the minimum X, we want zero, and the maximum, we're gonna use 24. And for the Y, we want negative 20 for the minimum, and four for the max. And the step size we're gonna use is four for both X and Y. Choose okay. All right, now we're going to click the polygon button to get the polygon tool. All right, now we want to go to zero, 00. And we'll be looking in the bottom right corner of the screen at the status bar. And we can see it's zero, 00 here. So we're going to click to begin drawing. And we're going to move over to 12, 00. And click to draw a line. And then we're going to move down to... 12 negative 20 and click and we're going to move over to 24 negative 20 and click and we're going to move all the way up to 24 4 and click and then we're going to move over to 0 4 and click and then we're going to right click to finish drawing our shape now we're going to get the single reinforcement tool so we're going to click this icon for a single bar reinforcement and to the options menu on the left, we're going to choose a number nine bar. And for the coordinates, we're going to put in 14.142 for the X and negative 17.5 for the Y and press enter. All right, now we're going to go and change the bar size to eight and we're going to use a different X value, which is going to be 18 and press enter. All right, now we're gonna go and choose another number eight bar and we're gonna change the X value to 22 and we're gonna use the same Y value, so just press enter. And now we're ready to go back to SP column so we can just choose save and exit and we can see our regular column has been loaded into SP column. So the next step will be go to input, loads, factored and for our first load we want zero and for the X moment, we want negative 225. And for the Y moment, we want zero. So choose insert and choose OK. All right, now we're ready to solve. So go to the solve menu and choose execute. And we'll get a warning that the reinforcement ratio is less than 1%. Consider column as architectural. So choose no. And now we get an error saying the section capacity has been exceeded. We need to revise our design. So just choose OK. And we'll get our interaction diagram. And if we want more detailed results, we can go to View, Results, and the SP Results module will load up some more detailed results for us. And if we want a report, we can go to View, Reporter, and the SP Reporter module will create a report for us. And we can export our report in different types, uh, different formats, and we can print it and we can include uh, any information that we'd like in the report.
Alright, thank you for watching our video, and please check out our other videos. The links are below. Thank you very much.